All right, we're checking out the only game. We're trying to travel in a straight line. We'll probably make you go insane. It's GTA. We want to try and cross the entire GTA map in a perfectly straight line while the chaos mod was going. And so it's time for a brand new challenge. I've been given these boundaries that go in a straight line across the entire map and I have to stay inside of them and get from the beginning to the end. I can use any of the vehicles that come to me to try and go through them or over them, but I can't go around them. To make things even worse, every 30 seconds, a custom fuel chaos mod will be spilling sadism on me all the time. I've got to do it before my computer crashes or I just lose the will to live. Let's do this. This is where I begin, at the edge of the sea, right in front of a giant fence. <laughs> so as you can tell, I do get some area to work with here in the size of these boundaries, but the chaos mod has already begun. And I don't think that this fence is destructible. It is not. The very first chaos is combo time and cattle guns. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the kitten blaster. Oh, that cat landed on his feet. You, sir, get to survive. The one cat that deserves to be a cat. What happens if you go outside of the boundaries? They never really explain to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like being set on fire while vomiting cat. <laughs> Shake it up. Stop with the chaos. I'm dead already. I was trying to figure out how to get around this thing for a while. There's a door. <laughs> There's legit a door that says no trespassing. It's not locked or anything. It's just open. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, predator vision. This is going to make things so good for me. You know, it'd be really great if someone could try to run me over so I could take their car from them. Lock player inside vehicle. Joke's on you. I still don't have a vehicle. Meanwhile, the police have already locked onto my position. That's great. Remember how I said I don't have a vehicle? I could have one, but everyone is maintaining a safe distance from me, and I don't know why. Honk boosting. You alerted the guards. I think that the guards have already been alerted. There is a lot of guards on me. <laughs> so this is going to be absurdly difficult because not only do I have to try and avoid all this stuff and get blasted by chaos all the time, but I need to stay inside these boundaries. Okay, just I want one car. Can I just like barely get around the boundary and it's okay? No, you can't go around the boundary at all. Not even to the edge of it. Vehicles shoot rockets. That seems fair. Get out of the car, please. I'm not gonna lie that. How is this out of bounds? Oh, it is out of bounds. Just another day in GTA when you have a, a gun that vomits out flames. Yes. Well. Uh, I was doing okay. I was staying inside of the bounds until I got sideways gravityed, and now I'm burning while flying out of bounds violently, and somehow I'm still alive. Oh, all of us are fl- Oh, God, my spinal column, come on! Some days I tell myself that I have finally done the most ridiculous thing I could do in GTA. Can I go around this fence? Oh, that's still inbound, sweet. Now, the fact that I've only gotten a quarter mile from the starting position of this challenge and it's taken me this long makes me realize that this is probably my new worst fear. What in God's name did he? What is this? Whoa, okay, hold on. I think we may have just found our ticket out of here. Out of everything I could have gotten vehicle wise, a purple colored Joker plane is just what the doctor ordered. Now the question is, do I have enough runway to get this thing off the ground? Excuse me, sorry. He's fine, everyone, he's fine. I know it looked bad, but he's okay. Oh yeah. You only need to get up to a... I'm trying to get around this building and it's still out of bounds. Okay, we're, we're this is working. Cars be flying. Chaos has not murdered us yet. I'm gonna have to find a way to go over this building because I can't go around it, but if the cars fly, maybe I can use this car to get over the building. All right, how much, how well does the car fly? That's my question. Well, the car flying is about to be over now anyway. Vehicles shoot rockets. That does not help me get over the building. I was thinking maybe I could utilize the van to jump on top of the roof and then I can get through it that way. Screw you, Alex. <laughs> what is the bonus for screw you, Alex? Oh, woo! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess there's probably some instances. Yes! in the challenge where there's no way to get around stuff unless you can get over it, so you kind of have to wait until you get something like Screw You Alex. Although reverse gravity would also work totally fine for doing this, but this works well. Screw You Alex, I'll take it. That got us on top of the building. From here, I can navigate my way to the edge and then over it. The question is, how do I get down without killing myself? That is a really large drop. I think I can parachute this? 
<laughs> okay. All right. We're getting there. Force field is blowing up all of the fencing. That's great. Oh, force field is making this easy. Finally, we're starting to get some real distance in this. I'm kind of back where I was. I have the opportunity now, finally, to get a car again. Only this time, you know, choose a real better car while the Scooter Brothers are all trying to murder me with their $300 scooters. Get out of the way, lady. Cars go boom. Oh, every car but mine, apparently. Engines are overrated. Are you kidding me? First, all the vehicles explode. Now the engine is going on this thing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Every single car almost I've stolen at this point has been terrible for the for the purpose of trying to complete the challenge. But all the vehicles are locked now, so I'm kind of stuck with this thing. I mean, to be fair, it is doing fairly well. We are, we are getting... Oh, if I go out of bounds in a vehicle, I don't get set on fire. The vehicle gets set on fire. Hold on, does that mean... Oh, I can live! Well, until the vehicle explodes, I didn't know that. Okay, here's the strat. We're gonna have an opportunity when we go out of bounds to at least know that we can't go there and still survive as long as we're inside of a car. So I've got to stay inside of a vehicle as much as possible. And I've got about five seconds before something terrible happens. Three, two, one, no running or jumping indoors. That's fine. Oh, what am I supposed to do here? The boundary is blocking the entire roadway. <laughs> I can't go around it. I'm so tired. Yes, I am. This is real. Okay, I think I can jump this. Well, I can't jump it if I, if I have narcolepsy, but once I'm done doing that, I can jump it. Okay, I think if I go to the very edge, I can jump on this pillar. There we go. Yes. Okay, sweet. Sorry. Sorry. Vehicles explode on impact. Oh, God. So this is terrible. Who needs gravity? Me! <laughs> Why would you do this? Not now, I finally got a vehicle! Ah! Oh, whoa! Hold on! Get out, we're in. Oh yeah, now we're set! Oh god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me go around this, let's go on the road here. As long as there's not a skyscraper in the way, now we can just blast our way through all the problems. Yeah! Finally! Out of the way, plebs. Gray still plays, coming through. Vehicles explode on impact. I mean, they explode when I shoot them with a turret as well. You go yeet. Uh, okay. Okay, I have been yeeted. I didn't expect to get yeeted quite so high. Can I stick this landing? Ow. Oh, kind of. Now I just need to use the turret to bounce myself back onto my treads. There we go, no problem. Oh, I'm out of, no! No, the tank's out of bounds! I got yeeted out of bounds! Run! Get out of the way! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no, come on. I don't want to join a gang. The gang just shot me in the sternum. Okay, well, that changes everything. I was gonna say, not doing great. But now there's exploding zombies all over my path. They're behind me. They're in front of me. They're literally all around me. And I just got blasted by the police. No! <laughs> ah! This challenge is insanity. The challenge is complete and utter insanity. Right now, brake boosting is going on. And so the entire area has gone completely nuts. There is just cars swirling into the stratosphere. People are blowing up violently. It's like an F-30 tornado. All I can do is hide behind this wall. All right, I've been doing this the wrong way. We, oh, well vehicles have no gravity. There is a checkpoint right up this hill. My plan was to get a motorcycle and use that to get to the checkpoint. But obviously there's no gravity. So that has become it. Oh my God. Whoa. All right. Weather in Florida be like, oh my God. <laughs> Make the bad man stop. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. Hold on. Uh. Hold on, this might, this might be our ticket. So once the gravity comes back, hold on, here we go. I just need to get to the checkpoint. I need to skydive to the checkpoint. Oh, we're doing it. This is happening right now. Watch this, watch this. 
Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, we're rolling it. Pull the pull the chute. Now, if I can just kind of get over or around this building. Ow. How do I get on top of this so I can get that checkpoint? Because the guy won't climb it, and I can't grab the wall. All right, here's the plan. Grab a vehicle, park the vehicle right next to this, get on top of the vehicle. That should get me the wall. Oh my god, please don't give me anything insane for this chaos, but it's okay because we have our first checkpoint. Times 10 vehicle engine speed because the world needed that. Out of all of the different chaoses that could have happened, that would... Are you kidding me? I finally get a vehicle and all the tires get popped. It's like the chaos mod knows. I'm gonna end up doing this entire challenge on foot. You need to walk more. I am walking. What do you want from me? I love how this random poodle is just chasing after this car violently. I'm tired of walking. Get out. If Gray were president. <laughs> I've got the Magneto force field of FIB agents. <laughs> They don't really do very much other than scare everyone away, but it is pretty fun. Did I just get yeeted into a wall and it insta-killed me? Are you kidding? The yeet ability sends you upward. And since I couldn't fly upward at a thousand miles an hour, it sent me straight into the ceiling of the concrete, which then killed me. I know everyone, car's out of bounds. Don't worry. I prepared for this. There you go. Everyone's a ghost again, are you kidding me? All right, I got good news and I got bad news. I'm still alive, I'm still a ghost. I have to find a way to get over this building. I have to hope that if I take these stairs all the way up, there's some way for me to jump on top of the roof because I can't get around this building. This building is, whoa, okay. Hey, that just tried to murder me a lot. Ah, no! No! You couldn't have given me like, I don't know, it's like a four door or an SUV. Ow! So now all the cars are drive buying me. Hmm. Yep, just keep shooting. Two, one, no! Oh God, this is awful, I can't take I've got a subscriber meeting and all of my subscribers came but then they all ran away because I'm wielding a gun. So I have no idea uh... I have no idea how I'm supposed to get on top of the roof, but I have an idea. We're gonna kind of like crazy parkour this. And then from here, we're going to... I wonder if I can jump on the wall. There we go. Okay, sweet. It was either that or the AC unit, but that got us on top of the... <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna lay here for a while. There we go. So now... We can jump. Can I land this without dying? Yeah, this is fine. There we go. All right, chaos in three, two, whoa. Okay, the Yi might be okay as long as I get my parachute out. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and swing this around. That covered a little bit of distance because of the Yi. So the Yi helped slightly there. Now it also broke both of my femurs just then, which doesn't help my cause. But that was pretty cool. It may sound stupid, but getting over that little hill was infuriatingly difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna be jumping a mountain of fences to try and find my way around all these different houses without going out of bounds. That was the most unenthusiastic scream that someone was about to be carjacked I've ever heard in my life. That was like the oh no that you get when they run out of tomatoes at the supermarket or something. That lady was like, oh no. Well, we're about to get another chaos. GTA 6. Okay, this is a problem. Cause now I can't see the boundaries. I kind of know that the boundary is this direction, but I also kind of want to just stay in one place until this is over. But I think we're gonna be okay. I'm pretty sure I'm still within the boundary. Yeah, we're good. Rainy with a chance of meteors. One of them is trying to slow, like trying to roll on top of me and take my wallet over here. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> that was the closest a human can come. To a meteorite. Oh, I finally got into the pool. After all this time, I can't enjoy it because it's raining meteorites all around me. How do I get around this cliffside? I need like a motorcycle or a dirt bike or something. You may be asking yourself, Greg, are you driving a fence? Yep. Sure am. Driving a fence. Typical day in GTA with the chaos mod. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. Problem is, I can't really tell 
where the dimensions of the car is. I wanted to use this car to try and get up the cliffside, but it's like the worst car to attempt to do this in. Stop with all the sports cars. Give me like a rally car or something. Okay, I had to, oh God. What I was gonna say, I was gonna wait until the binoculars were over to show you guys because it's so difficult to see. You're going to the moon, Greg, after I got rocket, man, ah! <laughs> Hold on, this is good, this is good, this is good. There, it got us to the top of that little hill. No! Don't you dare slide all the way back down. Thank you, God. No! For God's sakes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is what I should have had long ago. Oh God, finally, a motorcycle with speed and agility and a complete lack of understanding at what we're supposed to accomplish here. Now I can't blame it all on the motorcycle. Part of it is because you know, it's also jumping every couple of feet. Don't mind me everyone, professional uh, bush observation crew. Oh no. God, this is why I never eat and play GTA. Because you never know when something like this is gonna happen. I'll be right back. All I needed was to be responsible for a huge number of people projectile vomiting, all synchronized at their computer screen. I'd rather not do that. Now, can the motorcycle make it up this nearly sheer cliff base? It can do it just in such a failure of a way as to make me truly hate myself. All right, all I need is a little bit more speed. Okay, I guess that rock isn't fully formed. <laughs> Much like my brain. On the plus side, not only did we manage to stay inside of the... Not only did we manage to stay inside of the boundaries, but we also got a new PB going on. The problem is, I have no idea where I'm driving right now. Oh God! Oh yeah, this is exactly how GTA was meant to be played. Throw a grenade, that was a perfect toss. Blow up the gate right there. We're gonna yeet ourselves into the water because water is, where did everything go? So wait, <laughs> did I uh, did I technically go outside of the <laughs> the boundaries? Cause I don't know where they are. There are no boundaries. Okay, they disappeared too. So technically, I'm not outside of the boundary. That's what I'm gonna say. We'll find out when everything comes back in if I'm on fire. Nope, I'm still inside the boundaries. There goes gravity. Oh God, no. Uh oh 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 oh. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, this is it. This is the one. Here we go. We are going to parachute our way to monumental victory. On the plus side, we got through all of that insanity. So now it's a lot of rural stuff for us to go through and we are getting crazy height. <laughs> as long as I can still see the boundaries. Here we go. Oh, oh I'm, I'm pooping fire. Thank God. I would hate to, <laughs> I would hate to get some sort of constipation while I'm this high in the air. All right, skydive time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at the distance. Look at the speed. This is like the most distance I've covered in this challenge yet. And it's all because of part of the challenge itself. And right in the middle of the pylons, grab the parachute, sticks the landing. There you go, how about that? You know what would be great? Another checkpoint. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about anyone trying to jump me because all of the nearby pets apparently got obliterated. Only one thing got annihilated. Oh my God, hold on, I don't care anymore. Oh, please God. Okay, I've got like 15 seconds to get this before the next level of chaos happens and I think we're gonna get it. And we have a checkpoint. Ah, sweet cherry pie. Right next to, uh, what is going on over here? How do I always walk, hey! How come he turned to me to shoot me like one time? Look at him, he's like, oh, maybe I'll kill that guy in the pink uniform. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait to see what the next level of chaos is just to... Whoa, oh my God. Oh, I almost got hit by a car that flew past me like a ping pong ball. I can't take cover. It becomes very difficult for me to articulate when the entire planet around me is whoa, blowing up. Hey. Cool. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, this is hot. Here we go. Oh, God, never mind. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten the drift mobile. Do not go outside the pylons. Uh, you know what? Sure. Just take a little of a shortcut right here through nature's bread basket. And big turn. This has <laughs> the worst traction of any car. <laughs> Driving this is a lot like ice skating while oh, I'm out of bounds. Okay, hold on. Ah, there's a there's a meteorite. I got a problem because if I get out, the entire floor is on fire. So I was trying to get to a place where the ground wasn't on fire to jump out, and I never I never made it. Now you may be like, Great, why is there a dead guy and a motorcycle sitting next to you? Don't worry. Both of these things were there when I, when I got, when I respawned, okay? That guy tripped and fell on some bullets. Happens all the time. <laughs> Sticks to landing. Now a dirt bike is probably what I should have gotten way back when, because it can hug the ground <laughs> instead of just sliding everywhere and making me feel bad. Oh, random deer. There's a lot of deer over here. That's some sort of deer apocalypse. Also, everyone's a sinner, apparently. Things have been very smooth so far, and so it makes me concerned about what this next chaos is gonna be. Breads are... <laughs> Breads. <laughs> Ouch! Heads are brainless, as is gray. I had a brain once, but most of it got left on that rock. It's bright in Florida today. Yep, this is what it feels like. That right there is why all of us wear sunglasses 24 hours a day. Because you can either wear the sunglasses or you can feel what it's like for your corneas to get polished by the radioactive nature of the ultraviolet sunbeams hitting you. It's your favorite. What is that? What is that? Oh my god! No! I'm out of bounds, aren't I? Well, I'm also dead because it's a black hole. I'm the best in the world! Play dead. Oh, stop playing! Play dead means you're faking it. This one killed me. So, um, yes, there is a lot of bunnies <laughs> that have been caught inside of my gravity sphere. Oh, this is so magical. It's like an emergency food supply just following me. Come here. All of the woodland creatures are coming with me. <laughs> oh, you too. Uh oh. Ow. I lost all of my deers. Makes me feel bad. Anytime I see, stay down. Anytime I see a dirt bike, we are 100% taking the dirt bike. Vehicles shoot rockets. Oh, cool. Feels kind of weird shooting a rocket out of a dirt bike, but I mean, I'll take it. Uh, who out there is left clicking besides me? There should be no reason any of you traffic people are left clicking, okay? Stop that. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna go to this side. Yeah, there we go. That'll keep us inside of bounds. Strawberry jam on sale. Yes, the favorite preferred jam of any GTA player. Classic, for some reason, very metallic tasting strawberry jam. Well, there's not really a good way for me to do this, so I, I guess I'm swimming. What could go wrong besides possibly a aimbot Pez? No one's probably gonna shoot me while I'm swimming. I should be okay as long as I don't get attacked by a shark or a carnivorous manatee or something like that. You never know. Manatees could end up, you know, I don't know, having a taste for human flesh. You know what I mean? Like, like whoa, whoa. Global warming. The entire sea got gulped in one shot. It's all gone. I guess I can use my motorcycle again. No, not the way that everything go again against me. That's great. I'm gonna have global warming just long enough for it to not do anything because I can't see what I'm where I am. Oh, there's the water back. I don't know if I'm drowning right now or not because uh, I really don't know the location of my character. Guess I'll find out in about uh, three seconds. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Can you guys swim for me? Like, you know how people do everything for the president? How about you guys? I don't really feel like doing that. Oh, you're all just gonna drown, huh? I guess, uh, self-preservation's overrated. I do appreciate how the FIB are all just cloned. One guy, just the same guy, over and over again. We're about to have chaos in another three seconds. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, it's bad. Nothing quite like swimming inside of a hurricane. I will tell you. If you get the opportunity, do not do this because you're gonna die. But don't ask me why I know. Swimming inside 
of a pool when there's a hurricane going on is very therapeutic. It's probably also unbelievably dangerous, <laughs> but uh, yeah, take your reduction in anxiety whenever you can get it. Spawn angry chimp. How well does the angry chimp swim? I got bad news. I can't swim any further. Oh God, just get to the surface, man. Get to the surface! Ah. Now this may look like a scene that you're not exactly used to, you know, stopping a vehicle with a plane. Just, uh, just trust me on this, okay? This, this is all for a purpose. Don't you try to take me out of this car. I don't even want your truck, I want your boat. I'm gonna have the truck back when I'm done. I hate that I managed to catch the plane right on the roof of the truck. Trying to do a 37 point turn in this thing while I have a gigantic boat trailered in the back is driving me crazy. All right, check this out, here's the strat. We're gonna drive into the water. We're gonna sink the truck because I honestly don't care. Boat comes off, yes. Oh, this is gonna work. Do not float outside of bounds, I swear to God. Yes. No. Oh, oh, it's just invisible. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna be Wonder Womaning this boat. Yeah. Oh, this is normal. Nothing quite like watching a random Florida man jet ski his rectum across the waterways of Florida. Common sight to see. Gotta stay inside of the boundaries, Gray. Oh! oh! Well, the boat came back. The boat is now useless. But the boat got me three quarters of the way there, and that's all I really needed. Unfortunately, when the water comes back, I'm gonna have to swim all the way up. So I'm gonna see real fast if I can get through all of the muck here and reach the shore, which I absolutely can. Nice. Just enough to get my feet wet. Now I have to scale somehow a sheer cliff face. Now fortunately there is a small road over here and I happen to know that a lot of quads and dirt bikes go through this road. So we're just gonna have to hijack one. Unfortunately, peds also go boom. So now I have to watch out that I don't blow them up and then blow up the quad. Okay, tractor is not it. This truck is not it. Will you not do your police thing right in front of me? Is he, is he, is he really getting caught inside of a police chase? The guy on the motorcycle that I want to steal? Dude, drive away. All right, well don't drive away now because I'm ragdolling. No! Don't go the other direction, are you kidding me? All right, listen, it's a land stalker, okay? So maybe, uh, Nani? hands up. Oh, I can't drive my hands up, are you kidding me? <laughs> the peds don't go boom anymore. So I can get rid of this guy, take his dirt bike, and now we're rolling. You know, at 10 miles an hour. But it still counts. Oh, this is happening. This is happening right now. We are crossing the entire- What is with the invisible vehicles? <laughs> got double tapped with that now just about. Okay, we're still doing good. I've got a nice pathway to the next set of pylons. Everything is okay. I've got more chaos in about three seconds, but hopefully it won't be anything too bad. Don't be speeding, Gray. Ah, nothing quite like getting locked at 35 miles an hour or whatever that, well, we're not going that fast anyway, because we're trying to climb the mountain. So you know what, whatever. Just making sure that I'm inside of the, oh God, I gotta turn a little bit, here we go. Inside the boundaries, still doing good. Yeah. GTA 6 on PS4 be looking like. Oh, God. I love that the, none of the textures make any sense. This is, uh, this feels just like playing all the different indie games I play. <laughs> all my time playing those has prepared me for GTA 6 on the PS4, don't you worry. Ooh, screw you, Alex. We're doing well, so I don't even need to use the screw you, Alex, right now. This is the farthest that I've gotten in this challenge unmolested at this point. Now I can use the screw you Alex a little bit though. Spider-Man up the side of the mountain, Gray. One bullet mags. Oh. Well, I've got, I mean, I got no one to shoot anyway. I have been parkouring up the side of this hill for a while. I don't think I can do it on my feet. I need something to be able to climb this. Okay, not running or jumping completely screws me. Double the gray. So which one's, which one's the real me? Are they both me? Am I the original gray or is that the original gray? This is a weird paradox. I feel like I want to kill the other guy because I hate the fact that he knows everything I know. You're too dangerous to be left alive, but my W key is stuck, so I can't do anything about it right now. Ow! No! Well, 
You know, it'd be great if the game put me inside of the other me right now, but I don't think that's going to happen. In case any of you are wondering, it did not happen. The game did not put me inside of the other me. That sounds terrible, you know what I mean. All right, dirt bikers. Gray still takes your stuff as hit. <laughs> hey, uh, hey Jesus. If you go outside the boundaries, you are not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> I don't know, is, is Jesus fireproof? He's definitely a terrible driver. Whoa! Hi! Oh! Hitchhiking! I brought Jesus with me! I love that I got this as my hitchhiking vehicle. This makes me feel so good. This is the lucky run. Right here. 100%. We're sending it right now. Oh, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? Your PC can't handle it no more. Well, the console experience isn't great, but it's still allowing me to climb the hill. That's nice. I'm just climbing the hill now at 15 FPS. It's that FPS amount where you know that it's terrible, but there's also, you know, it's just enough to keep you playing. You're also not really fulfilled by how you're getting to play the game. All right, and brake boosting. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh my god! That did not work how I intended it to. Hey! Hey! Stop! <laughs> well, I got the cat gun. Doesn't help me at all. But just knowing that it's there for me, like a good neighbor, makes me very, very satisfied. <laughs> go, my kittens! Everywhere I go, I shall leave a trail of kittens so that everyone knows that gray still plays was here. Oh, Chaos Mod, please don't screw me. Aimbot pets, totally fine. I have been trying nonstop to get up the side of this mountain with everything I can possibly think of. I am not getting the good chaos items that would enable me to do this. Just reversing gravity or pretty much anything would do it and I just haven't gotten it in forever. So I've taken it to the point where I am trying to drive this thing sideways while I'm getting railroaded by police helicopters. I want your helicopter. Land over here. Ow, oh, no. Oh! Oh! Make it rain, portal guns, baby. Go. Yes, this is what I have waited for. Oh, God, I'm right there. Oh, I'm right there. I'm right there. Oh, God, my portal gun's gone, but it's okay. Oh, oh, oh no, don't screw this up, Gray. Oh yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! oh my god, where is the end? Anyone who came here to see the sights, I'm really sorry, you're all going to die. I have a force field and I can't control it at all. I'm also leaking now, so there's that. Why are these pylons sideways? What, are you trying to make my job harder? We're not gonna try and roll down this hill. We're not gonna try and do anything weird. I'm gonna jump, and we're gonna go ahead and skydive this. There we go. Oh, yeah. You need driving lessons. No, I don't. Who needs to drive at all? Oh, this is the stuff. This is the stuff. Nice and smooth. Nice and slow. Look at how well we're... I can go over or under this. I really don't want to freeze plant in. Oh my God. No, what happened? LOL, I just got murdered by the, by the pylons. So I don't know if you saw it, 100% that was rigged. I'm pretty sure that an extra chaos happened just to screw me, oh, just to screw me over. <laughs> Hold on, we can still make this work. Because it LOL'd right as I was going through the pylon and I got doubled up on on chaos stuff. <laughs> and the pylon killed me. If you do this to me again, I will never forgive you. So, what is this? What happened? What? Did I just get yeeted into a yeet? I did. I got yeeted while being yeeted. I got dual yeeted. Hold on. Oh, yeah. And we have a... Uh, oh, 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 I can't grab it! <laughs> Somebody give me a car! Somebody give me a car! Anyone! Do not, do not kill me while I'm trying to do this. Not the gravity sphere! I can't get anything with the gravity spheres off. You have no idea how infuriating this is 
to not be able to get a single vehicle. Ah! I'm blind and I hate myself. For the 1,000th time. I'm gonna bike this. You know why? Because I'm an idiot. Whoa! Okay, the free car thing is not helping anyone. Stop raining cars from the sky, please. I don't wanna get hit by someone's hatchback while I'm trying to beat this challenge. So, I guess that is the penalty that I have to take for thinking I can skydive the rest of the board. Is the, oh, whoa! Is the end of the, jeez. The end of the board is sitting like 30 feet up in the air. Oh no! What do you know? Just me at the top of Mount Chiliad again. All right, trust me on this. We're gonna skydive. That guy punched me while I was jumping! Are you serious? What is the timing on that? I didn't even know that you could punch someone while they're free falling in midair. Love my new haircut. Now I can still do a free fall from this rock up here. My plan is I'm going to skydive through the end. I'm not gonna use a car because honestly, the potential to grab a car and have it blow up on me is way too high. So we're gonna get to the edge of this rock. Maybe over here, here we go. I should, yeah, this, this should give me enough free fall. Jump. Okay. Oh God. Yep, forward momentum. Forward momentum, Gray. That's the stuff. Oh, we got plenty of forward momentum. We're good, we're good. Now I know where it is. I've landed skydiving on top of single pixel structures at this point on the Mythbusters videos. So I know I can hit this. Aim it at the top of your head. Top of your head like you're wearing a hat. And we have a winner! Well, instead of running across the map, I should have slept in my bed. Hey anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.